Thank you, Courtney. Representing the LLM class is Mansa Reddy Gumi. Man Mansa holds both a BA and an LLB from Bangalore University in India. Prior to joining the LLM program, she practiced law in India, focusing on corporate securities and intellectual property law. While at Cornell, Mansa has been a member of the Law School's Association for Law and Economics and a member of Asha Cornell, a volunteer organization founded in 1994 which supports basic educational efforts for underprivileged children in India. After sitting for the New York bar exam, she plans to practice international corporate law. Please join me in welcoming our LLM speaker, Mansa Reddy Gumi. Good afternoon, distinguished guests, proud families and friends, and graduating class of 2013. With the hope that my speech would get about a thousand hits on YouTube and some kids someday would quote me, I'm here before you representing the most wonderful class that I have ever been a part of, the LLM class of 2013. <laughs> graduation, graduation is a time of reflection. Finishing law school, again, has raised the grand question of why are we here? While most of us have no clue what the answer to that question is, I was trying to be a little more optimistic while I was writing my speech. The question at the forefront of my mind was, what is it that I spent a ton of my parents' money for at a place thousands of miles away from home? The answer is quite simple, opportunity. My first day at the law school was quite interesting. While I was wandering about trying to figure out how to get a class the next day, I found a room with a poster outside that said, ice cream social. I did not read anything beyond ice cream and just walked into the room full of people. I immediately realized that this was a meeting of a Christian society. I didn't know how to tell them that I'm Hindu and I was just there for the ice cream. <laughs> I desperately tried to look for a secret passage that would get me out of there. But within 10 minutes, I realized that I was having a good time. And that's when it dawned upon me that this is exactly what I'm here for. By that, I do not mean convert my religion, but I'm here to explore the world of opportunities. The opportunity to meet people from literally all over the world, the opportunity to make friends, some of whose names I still cannot pronounce, <laughs> the opportunity to learn from people who are way smarter than me, and the opportunity to explore the gorgeous town of Ithaca. But on a more realistic note, I had the opportunity to learn that I have no life and I will never be rich, <laughs> the opportunity to, to get an embarrassing grade in an exam, which I thought I had aced. The opportunity to, to attend every lecture that had free food. <laughs> and the opportunity to, to stock potential employers, putting aside all my self-respect. Whatever the opportunities that came my way, they molded me into a person that I'm proud to be here today. And I'm sure that all my friends here feel the same way too. A few months ago, one of my friends called me, telling me about her plan to, st to start a cupcake shop with another friend. After discussing her grand plan for an hour with me, she ended up feeling like she would either go bankrupt, her friend would cheat her, or a lactose intolerant customer would sue her. <laughs> I never felt worse, and I asked myself, what has happened to me? <laughs> Law school has trained us to be those people who are workaholics, who ask uncomfortable questions, who look at the worst possible outcome of things, and who doubt healthy relationships. <laughs> but what we actually take from here is the ability to look at both sides of a situation, to take a stand in difficult circumstances, to, to be passionate, to be compassionate, to, to work under extreme stress and still forget about it the next day, and most importantly, to make a difference. That, in my opinion, is a pretty great law school experience. Okay, now comes my thank you speech, which I thought I would be giving it at the Oscars for best choreography in a South Indian film. <laughs> but 
I think I'll settle for this. When I watched Legally Blonde in high school, <laughs> yeah. The scene that I remember the most is when Elle's dad tells her that the people who go to law school are ugly, serious, and boring. I thought to myself, that must be true only in America. And, and that's the picture I painted in my head before I got here. But that was far from reality. I met some wonderful looking, smart, and intelligent people who went out of their ways to help us because we are not on their curve. Who, who made us their tour guides because maybe they would visit our country sometime and who gave us the grand American experience. More than all that, they made us feel at home. They gave us relationships that we would cherish for the rest of our lives and they pushed us to work harder. So here's a shout out to all my JD friends who made, made our lives at Cornell wonderful and worth remem remembering for the rest of our lives. I'd like to take this opportunity to finally thank my parents for being my strength, my sister for believing in me, my friends for being my family here, my professors, especially Professor Munandulo, for inspiring me, and my classmates for giving me this honor. Before leaving the stage, I would like to quote someone who inspired me to think out of the box, J.K. Rowling. She said, we do not need magic to change this world. We have the power to imagine better. As lawyers, future lawmakers, entrepreneurs, and advocates of justice, we are on the path to finding magic in ourselves. Class of 2013, imagine better, dream bigger, and make your parents and children very, very proud. Congratulations. Congratulations.